Instructions for submitting worksheets. You'll need to download, print or save, complete, capture an image, and submit. These instructions were specifically prepared for BSC 2010 fully online sections that need to submit their worksheet packets. However, these instructions can be very helpful for other classes and perhaps even for other types of documents that you need to submit. These tips will help you in two ways. One, you'll earn credit for the assignment. If you do not follow instructions, you will not earn credit for the assignment, so it's important that you know the system. And two, you will learn. Worksheets are excellent learning tools, and if you become a master of the content of your worksheets, that will be an excellent way for you to study for your course. The first thing you need to do is to download the file. You do this by clicking on the name of the file and opening it up. Then you will print or save the document. There are a series of options here we will go through. The best option is to print the document one-sided. Okay, just use one side of the page. You'll see why in a little bit. A second option, if you have a touchscreen device, a tablet type device that you can write on with a digital pen, is to just save the document. Rather than printing out, just save it to your device and open it to work on it. Note, don't use drawing tools, don't insert shapes, or use other digital tools like that. You want this tablet experience to replicate the sense of preparing a worksheet by hand. So if you need a circle, for example, draw a circle by hand. Don't insert it using a drawing tool. A third option that may be available. It's not always available, um, so don't count on this option. It depends on uh, your particular class, but it may be possible to acquire a pre-printed blank document by mail, a worksheet that has not been completed but has been printed out for you. You would do this by contacting the IRSC Academic Support Center. Contact information is provided here on this page. If this option is available in your course section, you'll want to write your name in the upper right corner of the first page of your document. and you'll complete the work in your own handwriting. Do not type, copy, cut and paste, or use digital drawing tools such as inserting shapes. Use a pen or pencil or your digital pen. Complete the work in your own handwriting. Do not type, no typing. Uh, the science is out there that shows you learn much better when you are working with your own handwriting. Once you've completed your work, you're going to need to capture an image of it. This is why you print it on one side only. You'll lay out the pages in a neat grid. You'll make sure you have plenty of light and a steady hand. And you'll capture one image of all the pages at once. Make sure you fill the frame, but don't cut off the edges. If you have been working on a tablet or touchscreen device, you simply save the file to save your markings as part of the file. Otherwise, you'll take this strategy of capturing an image. How do you capture an image? Well, on a tablet, you simply save the file, but for images you're capturing it from your paper document, the PDF format is the preferred format. Word files, otherwise known as docx files, also work well, as do some image files, JPEG files, for example, work well. Alternatively, if you have a scanner, you can scan your paper document. Scan all of the pages into a single document file, though. 
do not save each pile in each excuse me do not save each page individually so notice the asterisk there it's important regardless of the method you use you must capture all of the pages in a single document file you cannot submit a page one a page two etc all pages must be in one digital file all right, what about file formats? We mentioned that PDF is preferred. Note that many phone cameras capture a PNG file, and that works. That works well, usually. DOCX files are also good in some image files, such as JPEG. Take note, though, of examples of things that often don't work. Do not send a zip file, a movie file. HEIC files are a little bit variable. Sometimes they open, sometimes they do not, so they are not recommended. This means you may need to convert your document to another format. Once you've got your image uh, file saved or your document file saved, you need to submit and you'll click on the submission link and an example from BSC 2010 is shown here. And then in the assignment dialog here, you will submit your document. Note, don't type or paste anything. You should not be typing anything. You should not be pasting anything when you submit your document. Do not write submission text. Do not type or paste anything in comments. And do not type or paste anything in this box. You simply click to browse your computer to find your file and select it. After you browse to find your file, select the file and click open. That will attach the file to your assignment submission. All you need to do now is click submit. It can take several days for the assignment to be scored. An icon will show that you have submitted your assignment as you wait for it to be scored. Once the assignment is scored, you may see a thought bubble type of icon. It means there are comments you need to read. Click on that icon and read the comments. You've completed and submitted your assignment, so let's go on with a few extra tips. When you prepare these worksheets, Imagine you're submitting a report to your boss or submitting something for publication. Make it look neat and organized, easy to read and follow. Keep the pages in order so that your submission has page one at the beginning and the last page at the end. And submit your file so that it reads right side up. Don't submit upside down pages. For some classes, there is only one submission attempt allowed. In BSC 2010, for example, you get a Module Zero practice trial where you can work out your submission method. But once you get into the actual worksheet packets for the class, there is only one submission attempt. That's why you need to pay attention and make sure you are following instructions. If you um, do not follow instructions on the first attempt, there will be no points earned for that worksheet. Another tip is to submit well ahead of the deadline. Submitting on the last day or at the last minute is risky. Uh, there is a correlation between success and early submission, and there's a correlation between failure and late submission. Uh, there is no accommodation made if your internet has a hiccup, uh, and so on. So you want to plan to get your things turned in at least a day or two ahead of time in case there are any unforeseen circumstances. And finally, one more method to print or save your document. Option four here is not desirable. You want to avoid this option because you want to be a functioning member of digital society. You want to learn how to do one of the other submission methods. But if you are in a pinch, you can reproduce the document by hand. But please note, it must look just like the original. 
It has to have the same pagination, the same numbering, the same figures. If there's a figure included, you need to draw that figure. Do not simply make a list of numbers and then write your answers to the questions. Okay? It needs to follow the same paging and format as a printed document would. Make it look as similar as you can to the actual document.